Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Hexcast, everybody. So the talk show and or podcast, whichever you like to refer to it as. I don't chop these videos up. They're not highly edited because podcasts and talk shows are really pretty raw. So there is a situation involving uh, High School DxD kind of indirectly. One of the voice actors, of course. A lot of people know the situation, you know, involving Vic and, of course, of course Jamie, right? So... Um, there is something I saw on Twitter, and this was really interesting to me. And, you know, it's something that I wanted to talk about because I don't wish for this to become a narrative, this to become, like, some sort of, some sort of, like, thing the community believes in and, you know, and tells people to shut up, you know, shut up. It's like, hey, you play sports, stay in your lane, don't talk politics like people have done with LeBron James and, so you know, so stuff like that. So... It was stated that I don't believe Jamie in this whole Vic situation <laughs> because she kind of supports, you know, well, sexual, you know, misconduct. And, you know, I was sitting there and I was like, holy shit, where's this going? Uh, this, is, this is a typical argument. But then I saw, and I quote, saying she supports sexual misconduct because of the character in which she plays in High School DxD, which is Akino. And now listen... There's been two investigations, and there has been absolutely nothing, you know, kind of, well, found out about Vic. Innocent until proven guilty. That's the way the world works. If you don't believe it, then, well, I mean, you're going to have to get over it, because that's just how the world works. You know what I mean? You, you, No matter what, and there's no evidence. And some people could be saying, well, sometimes you don't always need evidence. Sure, absolutely, you're correct. You don't always need evidence. And <laughs> you can, <laughs> but that's only if you're someone who saw it happen. Otherwise, you're going to look silly. You need something to back it up in order to prove someone's wrong. Does doesn't matter. A lot of people can just say things. But I want to really talk about this and state that I am actually one on Vic's side, just for people that know, because there's nothing to show me that there, that I, I can be. And there's nothing that someone can prove to me that thinks Vic is in the wrong that can change my mind. There's nothing there. There's no evidence that any, anything took place. So... There's a lot of people, you know, as many, there's some people that get out, get off the hook, but you also got to have, you can't have that double standard because there's a lot of people that get thrown in the slammer for years, like their whole life, and they, on a crime that they did not even commit. Think about that. So don't have a double standard um, <laughs> because that argument doesn't work. Sometimes people get away with things. I believe she's telling the truth. Well, sometimes people lie and people get thrown in the slammer for their whole life and don't get to see their kids grow up. So you really got to make sure you're even, even keel there. Now, what I, what I really want to talk about for this video, though, now that I've gotten that out of the way, is... Just because someone voice acts something doesn't mean that they necessarily support that thing. I mean, voice acting is an art. At the end of the day, so is storytelling. So that's like saying the creator of ReZero, does he like people suffering? No, but this is a story about characters suffering. And I think a show like ReCreators really kind of capture where, you know, where I'm going with this. You know, these authors, you know, these, these characters come alive and these authors get to meet these characters. And these characters that these authors wrote about realize, like, they gave them a shitty life. And the author state, you know, really we kind of look at you like our, sh our kids. We don't want you to go through these things, but we, we think that you're the only kind of character that could get through these things. And that really correlates to the two voice actors and so on and so forth because just because a character, you know, a person voice acts a character doesn't mean he necessarily is all about those characters. Now, a lot of times in voice acting, I guarantee, you know, people really don't even know what their characters are yet unless they're familiar with the series. They find, you know, they have this director that does the help do the, you know, produce the voice acting and cut up all the voice acting. And, you know, someone who directs them through the process who kind of gives them a little summary, you know, an autobiography about the character, sure, but doesn't mean they necessarily support the character. Now, it's either, sometimes it's either you do this character or else you're not going to make any money. You got to take what you can, especially in a voice acting kind of um, setting. Well, not kind of setting, a voice acting setting because, you know, the voice, the voice acting industry is, it's, it's, it's so quick. There's so many people that are so diverse in the voices they can do. You know, I mean, think about it. Think about how many different characters 
a certain voice actor has done. You know, there's some voice actors that have done 20 different ones. They've done 50 different ones. Hell, some have done over 100 characters. There's things you gotta realize. Like, sometimes you just gotta do a role. And sometimes you're just good at a role. It doesn't mean you support that role. You are acting. You think? Do you think everyone that's in a play, do you really think everyone that's in a, a drama play, a school play, they believe, they want, they're, they're the villain, so that means they're evil? No. 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 So just because a voice actor, you know, does an evil character doesn't mean they support someone who's evil i mean yeah it's so silly how people can try to attach certain things you know against voice actors now that i look at it because those same people that are attaching things to these voice actors are also the same people that say wow he had he played a really good role you, you, hey, that's my favorite voice actor. He's in uh, he's in High School DxD. He plays Issa Hiyoto. He must be a huge pervert. No, Josh Gurley's not. Now Scott, on the other hand, there's some things we can talk about. All right, but I mean, I love Josh Gurley by the way, first and foremost. So I mean, it, it, it's so it's so crazy because some of these voice actors they play two characters that that are the exact opposite. So what would someone say then? Does that mean they support? The the thing I mean you said hey you made the statement that they support the characters in which they they play okay cool but just because they support the characters in which they you know in which they play you can come into a contradiction because some characters are night and day some characters are yin and yang I mean think about it like Ross Vice to Akino total opposites. So you cannot have that double standard. And it, I, th I think it's just so laughably funny that that was a comment made. Such a irresponsible, arrogant comment made, man. Like, like It makes no sense. Your comment contradicts you know, your, yourself because these characters play characters that are literally the polar opposites of one another at, at, at the same time. Does that mean they play both fields? No. So I just, I just, I just found that funny. And... Yeah. There's so many people that say so many different things, and usually there's other intent behind it. Maybe it's because they're trying to get a point across because they really support Vic, or they really support Jamie. But at the end of the day, guys, you can't just make things up. I mean, you can't you can't have a double standard. You can't ha say, hey, this character plays a role and is part of something that I don't like that happens in real life, which is sexual misconduct. And since she plays that role, then screw that character. Screw her. She supports that. No, because at the same time, I bet you go down the list of the characters she's played. Once again, she plays a character that is really conservative and is totally against any kind of sexual conduct. I mean... I mean, come on now, man. I mean, it, it, it's crazy what people do and or come up with. I mean, I mean, look at uh, Josh Gurley. He plays Issei Hiyoto. Issei Hiyoto, perverted character, but cares about his friends. He would never try to hurt someone romantically because he is someone who suffered through um, Yuma uh, and, I, I mean, or excuse me, Rainier. And she, he's someone who suffered through Rainier manipulating his emotions. But yet, Josh Gurley also plays Maccabi from Masamune Kun's No Revenge. And he's all about getting revenge on the person that broke his heart. But yet, he also plays Issa Hiyoto, who is a character who would never do that because he understands the pain that it caused him. And that's why he doesn't even want to get close to girls. You see, they're opposite characters. So, how can Josh really be a kind-hearted character and then be someone who wants to get revenge and break a girl's heart that broke his heart? That's the point I'm making. That's the grand, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's the point I'm making. So, other than that, though, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, definitely be sure to check out the Hexcast merchandise. Link in the description below. Check it out, please. So, I may also put it in the comments below, but description, first link, you'll see it. I got merch tied ne up next to the link, so you'll know it's the merch. Go check it out at least and see if there's something you want. Phone cases, t-shirts, hoodies. And also, um, I'm forgetting something. Uh, yeah, iPhone cases and Samsung cases. So I, I really like, and also, like every Samsung you can basically think of, every iPhone case you can really basically think of, you go check it out. I'll have my shirt here next week to showcase the shirt and what it's really made out of to you guys. So as always, guys, see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.